Okay, so we're here at the premiere of Batman Bad Blood, and you are uh, one of the uh, the newest members of the extended Bat family. You're portraying Batwing. So for those who might be unfamiliar with this character, let's just start there. Uh, fans who know Batman but don't know Batwing, what do they need to know about this character? Sure. Well, Batwing, they need to know. This is the Batwing we see is actually the second Batwing. The first Bat Batwing is uh, David Zimbe, and he's like the, Afro the Batman from Africa kind of thing. And then he kind of you know, pass the mantle back to Batman, and then Batman's looking for a replacement, and uh, we find Luke Fox, and he becomes the new Batwing. So um, it's pretty cool. You know, there's some really good family storylines between, or, you know, the father and son kind of storyline between Lucius Fox and Luke Fox, and you know, then then uh, Luke gets the suit. So I think the fans are going to be able to relate to his entire story. And this this character uh, Batwing is a lot different than Batman. I mean, he has the, the fighting skills. You know, he is a, a competent member of the Bat Team. But he's almost like a cross between something like Iron Man and Batman. I mean, he's got a real tech uh, edge to him because of because of Lucius, I would imagine. Sure, yeah. So, uh, what, what what was the fun about playing a character like that? I mean, it was really great. I'm I'm a huge fan of you know all those comic book characters that you just mentioned, and I think um, it's kind of really cool to see um, some of the tech come to life. Um, I think um, you know for our character, Luke Fox is a military background, so you know someone was asking me, you know, how can he just step into the suit and just know how to do it? It's like, well, you know, he does have a kind of military background, so right, he's right. kind of, you know, trying to make that more believable. Yeah, um, but then also, he's been hanging around his dad, so he knows technology, you know? So, um, I think it's it's been, you know, kind of great to kind of get into both of those sides, and, um, you know, I think the fans will be able to thread the storyline and, you know, believe that he's Batman. And when we're looking at the, the Bat family as it's sort of assembled at, at the end of this film, uh, where, where do you think you fit into the dynamic? Do you think Batwing is like uh, one of one of the uh, younger brothers, an older brother? I don't know. I kind of see him as kind of almost a standalone character. You know, okay. I think he could be his own, you know, his own kind of standalone character and just be called up on when, when they need help. Uh, you know, the whole Batman, Robin, Nightwing trio is already so tight. Sure. You know, and then I feel like Batwing and Batwoman are kind of like their own separate characters that kind of jump in and can help out, but could also stand on their own too. So, um, are you looking forward to the idea of uh, jumping back in this role in further films down the road, further adventures? It would be really cool. I mean, this is my first one, and you know, a lot of these guys are veterans. They've done a ton of them. So, um, I would love to do another. Excellent. And I, I've been asking everyone this: uh, if you're a member of the Bat family, do you get to borrow the keys to the uh, Batmobile on occasion? Well, I mean, I got you know, I got the flight suit. So, I mean, technically, you want to drive, you want to fly. Yeah, I guess you don't. You don't even need it. You're <laughs> Problem solved. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Enjoy the rest of the night.